Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Serec Software 5. In this video, we demonstrate the design workflow for a Serec Guide 2 and 3 with the Serec Software 5.2. Our case contains an implant planning for a Serec Guide 3. The design workflow for a Serec Guide 2 is similar. After importing the implant planning data, we automatically receive a design proposal. The surgical guide includes two adjacent teeth, mesial and distal respectively, if present. In the Edit Serec Guide step, you have three tools at your disposal. First, we take a look at the proposal. We begin with the Adapt Seating Area tool, where three options are available. The option Select allows you to mark complete areas and lengthen or shorten the surgical guide seating area. For demonstration purposes, we extend in mesial direction. Starting at the surgical guide, we mark the area to be lengthened by holding the left mouse button down or via the touch function. By tapping Apply, the surgical guide is extended. We switch to the next option, Add. This tool allows you to add areas in a circular manner. The radius can additionally be adjusted with the slider. For demonstration purposes, we will slightly extend the surgical guide at the distal end. Now we enable the Remove function. We move the cursor to the edge of the surgical guide and mark the area to be removed. By confirming with Apply, the guide will be shortened by this area. Next, we switch to the Adapt Support Geometry tool. The slider allows you to decrease or increase the support geometry radius. The last tool in this step allows you to place inspection windows. To begin with, we place two windows proximal to the surgical guide sleeve, respectively. This offers the additional advantage of improved sleeve positioning in narrow situations. The size of the inspection window can be adjusted with the slider. An additional window in the premolar area helps to verify the final seating of the surgical guide in the patient's mouth. Now we move to the next step, block positioning. In this step, the surgical guide can be moved in the block in all three views. Areas marked in red are outside the block and are therefore not manufactured. In our case, we discard the new position and, provided no further modifications were needed, could now move directly to the last phase, the manufacture phase. However, we will proceed with the last step, finalize. Again, there are three tools available here. With the active form tool, you have the option of adding smoothing or removing material in certain areas of the surgical guide. The size and strength of the tool can be adjusted using the slider. We move on with the Cut tool. This tool allows for final shortening of the surgical guide. For demonstration purposes, we place a centered cutting edge on one of the front teeth. We start with a double click and confirm the cutting edge with an additional double click. This cutting edge provides another opportunity to verify the final position of the surgical guide inside the patient's mouth. When enabling the third tool, it is possible to have the surgical guide recalculated if necessary. After the final adjustments, you can switch to the last phase, the manufacture phase, which we will not cover in this tutorial. 
For detailed information covering the workflow starting with the implant planning up to the manufacture phase, you can view our tutorial series on the topic of Digital Chairside Implant Workflow. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.